Okay, today we're going to look at a really good interview question. How many hairs on a dog? When I ask this, I'm not looking for a number. I really don't care, as you'll see by my demonstration. It's miles off. Even the math is miles off. But what I'm looking for is the logic. Does this make sense? Can an applicant think on their feet and give me an answer? Because that's what the world's like. That's what all of our advertising agency clients are just like. They're going to ask you a question, and you need to answer confidently and immediately with a bit of logic behind it. So, let's have a look at it. how many hairs on a dog. Well, I'm going to assume that your average dog is around about a metre high and 1.5 metres long. Now, he's a three-dimensional dog, of course, because it's a real dog. So, if we were to draw some sort of three-dimensional cube, um, yeah, I'm a terrible drawer. 1.5 by 1.5, it's going to be 1.5 on each side, and maybe up here it's 1 by 1. So, we've got 4 by 1.5 and 2 by 1, which is going to equal 6 and 2, which equals 8 metres squared. So now we've got how much fur there is, how many hairs are there per bit of skin, I mean. I reckon, based on that, we could, you could break it down more granular, but you don't need to for this interview question. It's just logic. Let's say... Let's make the assumption that there is one billion strands of hair per metre. Therefore, my answer is there are eight billion hairs on the average dog. That's all I'm looking for. Other great questions this could be applied to are uh, how much does a 747 weigh? How many tennis balls are there currently in Australia? And the questions are infinite. The logic, however, remains exactly the same. And always work it out with a whiteboard marker or a pen or whatever you can because it just demonstrates the logical flows that you've gone through. All right, guys, make sure you comment on this. I'm really interested in what you have to say. See ya.